In this video, I want to go over a small detail regarding rejection sampling. I mentioned that you need to find a function that bounds your desired function up to some constant that we can call a bounding constant. So how do you actually find this bounding constant? Well, remember that what we are looking for is some constant that multiplied by our proposed distribution g of x will always be greater than f of x. So we can take the log on both sides Now the log of multiplication can be separated and now we can take g, log g of x to the other side. So we end up getting okay so the log of our bounding constant is, has to be greater then the log of fx minus the log of g of x. So how do we find this? What we can do is we can find the maximum of this function and then set log of c to that maximum. So all we have to do is find the maximum of this function, calculate this value over here, yeah? And then uh, once we have this, let's say we found uh, that the value over here is some value, yeah, and we are setting this up to log c, and then e to the value will be equal to our bounding constant. And this will be the way that we find our bounding constant. And I want to show a few examples. The first example will be of um, a regular standard normal distribution. And you can see um, that if our proposed distribution is, let's say, uniform between minus 5 and 5, so we will have 1 tenth, yeah, 0 0.1, it will go over someplace here, someplace here, yeah. We can see we have to uh, multiply this by almost 4 to get, to get it over here. So our bounding constant here will be approximately 4. And then I want to show you how to um, generalize this to 2D. And let's say we take from minus 5 to 5 in the x-axis and in the y-axis. So in the end, we will get 1 over 100 as our uniform distribution. And you can see that, I don't know if you can see it, but the top over here is approximately 0 0.15. So this means that the bounding constant has to be approximately 15 here. So let's switch into R and see how you can do this in R. So in one dimension, our F is just the PDF of the um, standard normal distribution. Our proposed distribution is uniform between minus 5 and 5. So the PDF will be 1 tenth. Yeah, and our function, the one that we want to uh, maximize will be as, as mentioned, log of f minus log of g. And here I made a little function that just looks for the um, maximum of this function and returns uh, the bounding constant, e to the power of the value of that function. And we can see that if we give our function with an interval between minus 10 and 10, then we get approximately 4. And if I were to calculate this analytically, we would get the same thing. And here I have the two-dimension example. So we need a special library for this. And f now is a multivariate uh, standard normal distribution. g will be uniform between minus 5, minus 5, and 5, 5. So it will be 1 uh, to the 100th. Our function is the same as before. It's log f of x minus log g of x. Here I use the multiple dimension optimization function and I have to because I want the maximum I have to do this thing over here because otherwise it will give me the minimum and if I do this we can see we get 15.91 so approximately 15 like shown in the graph 
So that was all and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.